Hi friends, welcome back to another day. Today I'm gonna take you on a little journey. I'm about to go and get my blood work done uh, for an appointment with my endocrinologist in two days. Wanted to give enough time for the lab to get the blood work done. Um, but I'm doing a virtual call with my doctor because I ended up having to reschedule it due to the holidays and travel and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I don't have to go to the doctor's office in person in two days but I might actually bring you guys along for that call when I do have that appointment. Just, I don't know, just for sake of like documenting it, if anything, I don't know, what, no matter what she says. But I am extremely nervous to get my blood work done today. Um, to be completely frank with you, the last time I got blood work done, it was a couple months ago, I was not in the place where I am now. I hadn't really started working out a ton. I had kind of started to, or I think I had, ordered my treadmill and then um, was trying to go outside and go walking right during the summer I was doing that in the springtime when I did my blood work my a1c number only went down like one like it was at like 0.1 from 0.2 if that makes any sense um, so it only went down at one point and so that wasn't enough for my doctor she's like no you're not doing a good enough job um, you need to do better she's not her bedside manner is not that great she was better at that last appointment but from that appointment to the one previous so blood work to blood work going backward i dropped a point and i had gained eight pounds from the previous appointment to that appointment from now my past appointment to today i have if if i can work out this morning which is why i'm getting it all set up over here and why i'm kind of bringing you guys along for my journey if I work out, I always lose a couple ounces um, as I'm working out, fresh in the morning. Always weigh yourself in the morning. There's a two pound difference from last night to this morning when I weighed myself before I went to bed and then this morning. And I'm wearing the exact same level of clothing, even, even less last night than I am this morning. I always lose a couple ounces, even up to a pound as I'm working out because my body is getting flushed, if you know what I mean. So I'm kind of hoping as I'm working out this morning, I don't have anything else to do except for going to get that blood work done. I really need to start wrapping presents because the kids are back in school. I digress. I'm hoping my weight, when I can check in with my doctor in two days, I'm gonna officially tell her what today's weight is, I think, unless it goes down in two days. Um, I will have lost 20 pounds from the time I went to the doctor last. 20 pounds. I don't remember the date of that appointment. It's been a couple months. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's, yeah, it's not the most I've lost. The total amount, I, I would have to figure it out. But it's a lot. So if I gained eight pounds with my last blood work and I dropped 0.1 in my A1C numbers, I am praying that I am no longer in the pre-diabetic range. I am praying that all of my hard work and i know i have more hard work ahead of me i have other goals in mind i am praying that like i am on the right track and if i just keep going forward i can keep with the like improving my habits improving my workouts i asked for um a step aerobic step to do step aerobics from my living room i don't want to do it in i don't want to go anywhere i want to do it in the privacy of my own home i asked for that for christmas so Maybe I will get it, maybe I won't, but I want that and I wanna start working out that way. So let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna work out for hopefully 5,000 steps, um, if not more. I might even just keep my workout clothes on today and hop back on whenever I feel like I can. And let's see, let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can drop the official 20 pounds. I have a few more ounces to go um, in order to get to that official number. and walk around hospital maybe a little bit after I do my blood work. Definitely walking around Target and I filmed and edited a video with all of my holiday decor. You'll see that about an hour after I post this video. That was a productive couple hours working out and uh, 
Now I feel like I can go and get my blood work done and feel like I've done my part up to this point in time. I've had water, I'm gonna keep drinking water as I go to the appointment if I need a new straw. So I won't get, well, I could get the results today. Well, most likely I'll get the results tomorrow. So let's go find out how I'm doing. Okay, showered. Just pulled my hair back this way, just into a plain ponytail today because I feel like, well I know, I'm starting to kind of damage uh, my hair from constantly twisting it back. Um, when I straightened it on Sunday, uh, I just saw lots of little breakage and so I'm trying to like not have it twisted back for a little bit. All right, so the fun thing is I weighed myself before I hopped in the shower and I did have the least amount on that I possibly could to get a really true accurate weight. And I am officially at my lowest yet again. I dropped another pound, which means I have officially dropped 20 pounds since my last doctor's appointment. And I'm so excited to tell the doctor that. I'm so excited to see if my numbers have improved. I feel better. I feel more motivated. I feel motivated to actually start to work out. I'm gonna work out right here. I'm going to um, walk on the treadmill, do my editing, and then I'm gonna come in here when I'm kind of sick of doing the walking and I'll work out here and count how many steps I can get in with a workout. I've already found a YouTube channel to follow with workouts, um, making changes. And I, it feels good. I feel refreshed right now, but I am in a hurry. <laughs> Abby texted me. She's in a lot of jaw pain, teeth pain, gum pain from having her braces. They just put the wire back on yesterday. But also with taking out those four teeth, all of her teeth are moving. Literally the space that they made by taking out those four teeth has literally made every other tooth be like, all right, we got some room. We're gonna stretch out, we're gonna move. She is in so much pain. And she was like, mom, I cannot handle it. I have my pain numbing cream. I have medication. You know, I've taken the max dose of pain relievers. I just <laughs> can't do it anymore. So I'm hoping to be done here, getting my blood work done in the hour um, before she's done with the most amount of classes that she needs to be done with. Um, and then I'm gonna go and get her kind of secretly hoping that she has PE at the end of the day because I know for sure she doesn't want to go to that class. I don't blame her either. So, yes, that sunshine in the Northwest during the winter, you guys, the colder weather, the non-rainy skies, the snowy skies, you can't even see me, means we have sunshine and this this is what I've been trying to explain to especially my family or people who grew up in Utah. They're like, well, you had snow growing up. You had cold winters. Yes, but you have sunshine. You have sunshine. And when you have sunshine, your spirits are up and you want to be outside and you get vitamin D and oh, look at that glorious sun. And it makes it feel like you're not so doom and gloom in all the gray skies like we normally have here in the Seattle Northwest. The, sea, the sun is a very good thing in the winter. I will take it every time. Just like it's never taken that long and also 
um, like the guy ahead of me, I knew it was gonna be an hour and a half wait. They told me that like straight up and I was like, fine, I'm here for the long haul. But I was like, nah, it's not really gonna be an hour and a half. Like they, I, they've overestimated it before and I was like, I'll stick it up, it's fine. Um, they also refused to like take a phone number and call me, whatever. I don't have anywhere else to go, so I just waited. But the guy ahead of me, I was very like conscientious of who's ahead of me and who's behind me. So that I know like place in line, right? And the guy ahead of me went and then like 15, 20 minutes went by and they hadn't called anyone else back. Or maybe I hadn't noticed or I don't know. And so I was kind of sat kind of far away from the doorway. And then um, the guy after me went and he was obviously like there with his dad and his dad was in a wheelchair and he was the one getting the blood work. So I was like, of course I'm not gonna get mad. Like go ahead and go cause you're sitting here too. Um, but I went up to the, to the counter and I was like, dude, what the heck is going on? I'm like, why are you taking so long? Um, and why are these people out of order? Like, why are we not following an order from when we came in? Cause they had us write down what time we came in on a piece of paper. Like not even a computer system. Like why are we using pieces of paper to check people in? And she was like, like I asked three times and two more people went after me and then another person went and I was like, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. And then the head like nurse, whatever person, she was like yelling at the, not yelling, but like talking, you know, kind, kind of abruptly with the front desk person. She's like, you can't get these slips out of order. And it's like, why are we using pieces of paper to keep the order? Like it's 2022. Why are we using pieces of paper in a lab for a hospital to keep the order of patients coming in to get lab work? Like what in the heck? So anyway, by the time I went back, they were like, we're so sorry. I'm like, you guys need to figure this out. Like I get that you're busy and I get that there's a lot of people here, but you've got to figure this out. Maybe we don't do this whole piece of paper like thing. You can get our information, but put it in the computer. So that it's the computer system telling you who is going next. And it, anyway, I'm starving. I went in there on a fast because I normally don't eat before 11 or 12 and I'm doing intermittent fasting and it's going well and I don't worry about it and I don't get super hungry before 11 or 12. But when one o'clock came and 1.30 came, I am starving and I'm obviously crabby. So Abby and I are gonna go get lunch. <laughs> it's probably gonna be McDonald's because I just need it fast and I need to get home. Fast forward, I don't know, like an hour and a half? What time is it? Three o'clock, it's ridiculous. Took Abby home, she's in bed and while we were going home, um, she reminded me, well, I knew she got her job. She got the job along with two other positions she hadn't actually applied for, which is great. Um, but she wants to have a checking account set up now. We've been working with them on how to use a credit card and using our Hawaiian credit cards. But she says she's ready for her own checking account and I'm gonna get Kaylee her own as well. She's 17, she should have one. Hopefully she gets a job soon. I think she has a final interview today or tomorrow. I can't remember which one. So time to get them set up. So I ran over to the bank and I made sure I had all the information I needed to be able to sign them up with accounts each on their own. Um, and all I have to do is do it on the web. I can just do it on, they can get the mobile app and they can sign up. And then if we ever want to connect their accounts to our accounts, we just have to go in person. But it means like we'd all have to go in person because me and Jason are on the account together and then Abby would have to come in and then Kaylee would have to come in and I would just rather them have their account. If I ever need to send them money, I can just Venmo them. Maybe I'll get them a Venmo account set up so we can transfer money easier. But I am tired, but I have to go to that lovely place. I, don't, I guess I don't have to, but it's just like, I'm running out of time. I'm just needing to get stuff done. And um, tomorrow's another busy day. And I don't even think I'm gonna be able to wrap Christmas presents again tomorrow. So, it's just I have a headache. Obviously, because I haven't had enough to eat today. I'm, I need to finish eating, but now I need to go to the bathroom. This is my third water. I need to go to the bathroom. You guys, I have been stuck at this computer. I felt like I was putting out fires one after another. It's not even, <laughs> not even funny. But the best news is that Abby, with this piece of paper, is an official 
permit holder to go and learn how to drive. That is your official permit. I have a copy of it. So this is like That is your official official learner's permit. Like this with me? Yeah. Every time you drive with us, with you know, your driver. She started classes tonight and they're all online, which is wonderful. They got a our um licensing office got approval to continue with virtual school even though COVID is over because they've it's very beneficial for these students um, and it made it so much easier and so she's just doing it from her bed which is fantastic and once she signed up for the classes and they started then now she has her learner's permit which is great but that led to do we get the learner's permit um with a picture or without a picture and with her um surgery happening next summer her face is going to change and I didn't want her to have a picture that was an old picture of herself literally like a week or two after her birthday and weeks after this surgery that was completely different than the new look that she'll have after sur surgery if you're new she is having jaw surgery this summer which is another call I need to add to my list it literally it's Pandora's box call surgeon I'm writing this massive call surgeon for appointment um, he is scheduling six months out so anyway I have been in here just oh, burning off my caffeine <laughs> luckily I grabbed a snack some fruit and some crackers and cheese when I got home um, this is just my numbing uh, what is it called again Love Island it's just mind-numbing stuff to have in the background because I've been kind of stressed. Um, I'm done for the day, you guys. I'm going to update you um, in the next couple days when I get my lab results on how well I've done. I think I've improved my A1C numbers. And I'm pretty dang happy with myself. And if it's not, then I have, a, I have an issue because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Obviously, Coke is probably one of the, the culprits, but I feel like I'm making good progress. So I'm going to sign off. We have a lot more to do tonight with the kids. Um, so I'm going to sign off with you guys. Wish me luck with my numbers. And I will talk to you guys soon. Of kindness yet for all.